This is a very good question. Um, the industry has gone for a bit of a change with some of the INCO terms have been uh, not changed but amended. But traditionally they're very similar to what they were 50 years ago. Particularly on inbound cargo or outbound, doesn't matter which one you're talking about. Uh, Australia as an inbound country is, tr is traditionally an FOB country, which means free on boat. So basically, uh, you know, when you purchase your product, you are responsible for the container once it's on the boat. Prior to that, all costs associated with that are charged by the overseas supplier or shipper. And Australia's changed a lot from traditionally being a prepaid market to a freight collect market and a CIF or CNF market to an FOB market. And that won't change. So a lot of the control of the freight and the movement of freight from all over the world to Australia um, will be controlled by the Australian importer and predominantly either on FOB terms or ex factory terms because out of Europe and out of America, a lot of the product is moved from the factory. So we, as a freight forwarder, organise the collection from the factory, get it onto the boat, pay all the local charges, and then bring it to Australia. Also, outbound, you know, export is it's got exactly the same terms. A lot of it is controlled by the companies that are purchasing the product overseas. So, you know, it's it's very similar FOB from Australia the way to wherever it's going. So FOB is the most important term.